Hello everybody, this is Fronito Bob here, and welcome back to Train Drive ATS. So, scenario time, once again, you know how it goes. Um, today is the 905 not in service, Tosai Debutsu Koen, blah blah blah, which is a long scenario. Well, I say long, it'll be shown up a little bit by the speed things, but still, let's see if we're for a long journey today. Of course we are. Okay then, let's waste no more time and get to it. Before we get on the rails, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, and we are starting... Ah, where is... Th oh, this is Totsai... Oh, it's this part. Okay. I see. Okay, we're, we're starting north this time. Okay. And we're not in service, apparently. Alright. Um, well, for now, I... Actually, what? Oh, no, we're not in service because we need to pull into the station first, of course. Duh. And there we go. All right. So, another turn of ATS scenario for t today. Yeah. Um. And that's it, actually. This is another scenario. It's not what those I can say. And it looks like we won't be driving in any new parts of the road today. Unfortunately, we're just going to be... Or are we? I don't know. I don't think we are. It'd be cool if we did, but... Yeah. Oh, well. Uh. Well, we're not too far away, not too far away actually, from uh, from playing most stuff. Yeah, this is scenario number 13. Which means we are getting close to the end of this... Well, completing all the scenarios. Actually, as for the series itself, it's actually going to be going on until uh, probably March next year. I'm not sure how many more videos. I mean, well, not how many more videos there are. I don't know how long it will take to make all of them, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> for now, though, here we are. Now, let's see if we have a stopping. Oh, our first stop that is coming up already. Okay. All right, let's get some points on the board. And yep. that's a bird color. Okay, decent stop. How many points for that? Eighty-one. All right, that was a pretty good stop, actually. Yeah, thank you, game. All right, bit of bit of fast forwardisms. Yep, we're doing a lot of fast forward stuff today because since the scenario is so long, um. Yeah, fast forward is gonna come in handy today. Um, I actually didn't check uh, the full schedule. I just kind of just glossed over it. All I know is that's gonna be an hour long scenario. I but one thing I didn't check though is where the scenario will be taking us. I just didn't. I just kind of glossed over that. But this is gonna be a long video, so kind of gotta rush these things a little bit. Just make these videos as concise as possible. Especially since this is a video for a series that doesn't get that many views these days. Really, the only reason why I'm still making these turn of ATS videos is just so I can finish what I started. After that, though, yep, turn of ATS will be going away from the channel for I don't know how long. Either until turn of ATS 4 comes out, or or there's some rise in demand in these older turn of ATS games. Another decent stop. All right. Actually, that was pretty good again, I will say. Oh, we're going this way again. All right. And we have a long wait. Okay, we're going to Yorimachi. Oh, no, we are going to be going on this section. All right. There's Fujiwara Onsen. That's the very tippy, tippy top of the route. That's, uh, they run some special local trains there. Um,. I actually don't have any drivable services, I don't think, so, uh, yeah. Don't worry, though, we'll drive those once we complete all the scenarios and we unlock the, uh, free, like, free drive and the free drive. Actually, yeah, that's basically what it is, the, uh, the free service mode thing as well as the flight mode. Yeah. Another trainer next to us. <laughs> Too bad we haven't got a uh, chase camera in this game. Actually, I think this game does have a chase camera. Oh, it's a blue train. All oh, right. I think this game does have a chase camera, but... You have to play through the career scenarios first to unlock it. 
As far as I know, Train of ATS-3 is the only game where it's get chase cam right from the beginning. There's another main train. Yeah. I guess we're gonna wait for him and then we can go. Alright, I thought we were actually gonna go southward, but... I guess we're gonna go north for now? I... Hold on. I'm gonna go check the, uh, the schedule. Okay, now we're actually looking at the schedule. It's actually a rather interesting one. We're actually gonna go up to, uh, to Yorimachi. Um, and then we're gonna go back, uh, down the line to Akusa Motor Max, which I think is like the big middle station of the line. So, yeah, we're actually gonna go to, uh, pretty far north on the map, and then back down quite a ways to, well, Motomachi. So, there we go. Yeah, I probably should have taken a closer look at that at the beginning. I thought, but I thought we were, I thought it was like a generic search where we originally just go from this end of the route, you know, one to the other. But no, it looks like this scenario is actually going to be a bit more adventurous than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, now I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, we're, we're actually going to be driving up to Yorimachi and then back. So, actually, we're going to be driving this section of the route twice today. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is like the mountain sort of section. Is it a mountain section? Or... It's a okay. It's a very interesting section of the route um, that we only just dis uh, discovered. That we only actually just drove on in like uh, two episodes to go here in front of ATS one. Yeah. Well, good. We were driving on the section route again, which uh, which is pretty cool. And well, actually, we're not going to drive it again, but then we're going to drive it again, again. Yeah. 105 kilometers per hour. Are you sure about that? That's. Uh, I don't know. That, that's going to go down, isn't it? Yeah, now we're not going 105 through here. Yep, told you. 95 is still pretty fast, though, huh? All right. Well, no, today was a sitting. I don't know. Alrighty then. Um. Ah, yeah, 65. Right, here we are then, driving once again on this section of the line, which is a single track that goes through, well, nowhere really. Yeah. But yeah, this 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 is the section that we drove on for the first time in just a couple episodes ago, and yeah, now today we're driving it for the second and third time. It's too bad we don't have a section like this in Trend of ATS 2 or 3. I think it's it adds some diversity to the uh, to the map, you know. Cause Trend of ATS 2 and 3, like those routes are entirely urban. Um whereas this route is more half urban, half countryside. Oh well, as I yeah, fun if I just mentioned Train of ATS 4 earlier. I'm hoping maybe Train of ATS 4 could have a, have a hybrid run again, where it's half city, half country. We'll see. By the way, at the moment, uh, we still don't really know anything about Train of ATS 4. Um, all I know is that it's in development, and that's it. I don't know anything about release dates or what route it's going to be. I don't know anything like that. All I know is that it's being worked on, and that's it. And I would make a joke about my fake uh, Train of ATS-4 video from earlier this year, but I think I've done that enough times to where the joke is not really funny anymore. Anyway, yeah, this video is mainly just going to be ram me rambling, I guess, since we complete the scenarios. Wait, what? It went up to 105 with the... Uh, why? Why did this video go up to 105 there? What's the point? Uh, uh. Yeah, as if you're going to accelerate to that speed and that... Well, accelerate to 105 and then break down at 65 in that uh, space. Yeah, so now we're in a uh, bit of a forest here. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, um, this video's being uploaded at a weird time, isn't it? Yeah, um,. I typically don't upload Train of ETS or videos in general on Saturdays, but uh, I've done that this time because, um, uh, well, because as you may have seen, 
uh, a new Train Simulator 3 route came out, being the um, the uh, Eastern Range route. Uh, that route actually officially released over the weekend, last weekend. So, um, yeah, I basically swapped them around and I did a uh, Trains video. Well, Tuesday this time, man, you're going to be a Trinity BTS video on Saturday instead. Maybe you're wondering, why am I releasing this video on a Saturday then? Usually I post these videos on Sundays or the weekend. Well, as of when this video is going to be uploaded, uh, I do have a video coming out tomorrow. That's a pretty big one. Yeah. Probably shouldn't say too much about it though because uh, I don't know if plans might change. I am recording this on a, I am recording this on Thursday, by the way. So two days before this video is gonna go live. I say that plans may change, plans may not change. I don't know. Sometimes these things don't go don't always go to plan. Alrighty, well it seems that we're back into a place with some skyscrapers. Even though this place is like so very desolate. Yeah, as I, like I mentioned, I have driven this section of the route before, but I'm just kind of reciting everything just because it's, well, it's been, it has been a little while though since, of course, driving here and also because, you know, the section of the route is new to the channel. Which I almost can't believe that though. Yeah, this, this route has existed forever. It's taken me up until this point um, to do driving and stuff on it. Oh well, barely than never. Okay, it's been like went out to twenty five, but I guess that's not gonna come into effect just yet. Okay, whatever. Hell there. Yeah. Okay, I guess um let me pick up a little bit of speed here. I didn't realize that the speed limit was going to stay at 75, but okay. And there's our stopping marker. Oh! Okay. Okay, I came kind of close to overshooting this platform, but... Ah, stopped in time anyways. 50 points? Hey, we now have exactly 200 points. Look at that. Well, I arrived here a bit, a little bit late, but... Here's the thing, though, right? The speed limit said it was going down to 25, but then it never did. It, only, it stayed at 75. So I was thinking, oh, the speed's going to go to 25. So... So I could have just flown into that station, but... Uh... But, uh... That's not what happened, is it? Hey, we're going through a long tunnel. 105. Which will probably last until the end of straight away. <coughs> no, looks like we can't go through 105. Okay. Oh, there was some super elevation on this track, so yeah, I guess you could go 105 through here without flying off the track. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Next up is near Onsen. Also, I just realized we're driving an express service. And yet we've stopped at both stations so far. Shouldn't this be a local service? These Japanese train names are something else, aren't they? Okay. So they're going down to 65 on this corner, which makes sense. Yeah, I know we're going through there at 105 kilometers per without flying off the track. Oh, you know something? We haven't actually seen the, um... Okay, so one thing that, is, uh, that Andre mentioned in a previous video episode of this series um so our 
end point here is Yori Machi. Um, but so thing is though is that Yori. Hang on, let's fuck because we're in the start real quick, then I'll talk about what I want to talk about. Hang on. Uh, oops, what's up? Oh, come on. Okay, you know that's fine. Whatever. Okay, I stopped a little bit too soon there, but. Mm. First, okay, that was a more of a mid stop, but yeah, good enough. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so Yori Machi is the highest point that trains from, um, that trains from uh, the south end of the map, Akusumo to Machi. That's the uh, that basically trains from between Yori Machi and uh, and uh, and Akusumo to Machi, right? However, trains from there don't go any further up. This is, this is basically the end of the line for these trains. And then from Yori Machi to Barjuatsa Onsen, or that station was called. That's a totally separate um, local service. And I've never actually seen those trains yet, so I don't know if maybe we'll see them today. Oh, I just looked at the map and there's none actually at that station, so I don't know if we will see a train. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, we'll see. Anyway, I should probably tell us what I'm doing instead of... Well, actually, no, this has been interesting. You know, since this is something that I've never really talked about before here in the channel, you know, so... Yeah. It's only taken me ye several years to get to this point, but here we are. Yeah, last of this train. Oh, yeah, it's even a buffer stop, so yeah, there is... Yeah, these trains can go no further. We have reached the end of the line. Although, not the end of this scenario. Ironically, now we're going to drive southbound. And this actually, this, this is going to be the first time that I'm actually driving uh, the, the section southbound word. Southward. Okay. And... Oh, that time we had the reverse. <laughs> I love all the, the previous time we stopped at plus 4, 0 0.4 meters. This time we stopped at minus 0.4 meters. This, yeah, this time I... Overshot the platform by a tiny bit, but oh well. Anyway, all right, maybe we'll see these trains. <gasps> There's one coming. We're gonna see it. Yeah. Well, I think. Well, actually, ah, why can't we get a chase camera? <sighs> He's gonna be right there, but I can't turn the camera far enough to see it. Mala, <sighs> please go to the yard. If he turns back the other way, I am gonna absolutely lose it. Actually, I'm not sure if we're gonna we're gonna be able to see him. Oh yeah, there's another one. B11 local, something. He's gonna. <gasps> he is. I think we're gonna see him. Oh, there's another one. Oh wait, stop! No. Uh, uh. Oh, that's the um, that's the the speedy train, the bullet train. Oh. Oh, and the. Wait, seriously? Wait, is that the the Burji Waj, whatever it's called, local? Is that it? It's literally just the blue train, but with only four coaches. Is that it? Andrew, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. Is that is that is that the Burji Waj, whatever local? Is that the train, or is there or is there a different one? And that train's just a train that exists. If that's it, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. That's literally just the blue trains that run on the main line. It might be, though. B1. Yeah, I think. Oh, come on. I know there's a high poly model DLC, which I might get. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Hopefully, Andrew's already ready to comment, uh, explaining what that is. Is that actually it, or is or is that just some other random train or something? Actually, there's a whole yard of trains. I think those are just the mainland trains, though. I don't know. Anyway, first time driving this part of the line southbound. 
And we're all the way to Akusa Mudamachi. All right, let's go. <coughs> Oh, we're Rapid Express as well. Okay. Don't know what Rapid Express is, but... Your mother. Also, you know what's kind of funny? We actually drove this service, like, up this line as an express. And we stopped at all the stations anyway. Like, what? Uh, okay, I'm slowing down to 55. What the heck? We just... We drove that as an express without the station anyway. What, what? Why? Oh, hang on. I also just remembered something. Okay, I actually, I actually made an error um, just now. Uh, not with my stopping, but hang on. Let's get a good stop here just so we can. Ah, oh, come on. And. Oh, come on, man. This is so hard. Okay, good enough. 0 0.2. Yeah. How many points is that? Uh, 60. Okay, so above average. Now, as I was thinking about my little error, so I, I just said earlier that the only trains... So it's Yorimachi to Akusa Murumachi, right? Now, I did say that those trains only run from between that station and that station, right? Uh, but there is one exception, and that is actually the uh, the speedy train that we just saw, the bullet train, or whatever that was called, the uh, the Spatia Express. That's what it was. Um, that's actually the only train that runs the entirety of this route, all the way from one end to the other, like the whole thing. Also, this looks weird. Is this is this supposed to be a big valley or something? Looks kind of weird. Oh no, I'm not concentrating. <laughs> Good thing this is Train of ATS 1, where it only slows you down and not apply the emergency brake. Is it man if this is Train of ATS 3? <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, thankfully this is Train of ATS 1, where if you go over the speed limit, it just slows you to the speed limit, but then. And yeah, of course it still deducts a few points, but at least it's nowhere near as many points as it would do if it was Train of ATS 3. Anyway, let's go fast. But yeah, the bullet train, that is the only train that goes the entirety of the route from Akusa Moto Machi to. Um, to whatever that top station is called. Uh, Brad B, blah, 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 whatever it was. Yeah, that's the only one. So, yeah. Also, what in the world? We saw the, uh, Bourgeoisia Onsen local trains for the first time. I think that's what the station is. And it's literally just the blue train. You know what? I'm tempted to get that DLC now just to have custom trains. But I'll wait till. Yeah. I'll wait till Andre leaves the comment when this video goes up. Uh, anyway, here we are. Oh, we're going to be on the uh, left platform. Alright. Well, hey, this will be the first time I'm going to see this route from the other direction. Okay, let's get another good stop. Uh... Okay, another pretty good stop. And hey, this time I arrived early. Look at that. 51 points. Okay, that gets us up. Wait, why? Wait, what was the... Stop bankruptcy. What? Was my stop bankruptcy really that bad? Yeah, whatever. Uh, fast forward mode. Let's be here for a couple minutes. Fast forward mode is the best feature ever, by the way. I wish more train sims had this. Um, technically, Transfer Classic also has a, uh, a fast-forward mode um, that you can implement with the uh, EXE. Um, oh, yeah, train Actually, I'm an idiot. Train Fast-forwarding is actually not that uncommon in uh, Train Sims. Yeah, Transfer Classic, like I mentioned, has that little mode thing. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Why? I... <laughs> Okay, as I was trying to say when I just slipped all over my words, um, 
Wow, six kilometers to the next stop? Okay. If... It's 4 p.m. It's not even that late in the day. I got up like three hours ago and I'm, my voice is already just completely... My brain's already just totally fried up. I don't know why. Train to Classic has fast forward mode. Uh, look it up if you're curious. And as I also tried to mention, Train Simulator on PC also has fast forward mode. So actually, fast forward bridges isn't really that uncommon in train sims. And technically, train sim world also has a uh, fast forward fast forward mode if you play it with the editor. Yeah. Although the funny thing is about all three of those games I just mentioned, you have to do special methods to activate the fast forward mode. Whereas in this game, you just hit a button. Makes it easier. Alright, we're gonna return five balls per hour! I mean, balls. Yay! 105 kilometers per hour! Yay! The speed! Although, we're gonna be going to that other really straight section in this video today. I wonder if we'll be able to reach 120 in that. I guess we'll coast down the hill. I actually make a good time to uh, Tosai Dobotsu Koen. So I wonder if we're gonna get held up at a um, at a red light or something, or if it's really actually gonna take us that long to get there. Guess we'll find out. Slight acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this: this part of the world looks pretty basic. Like there's really not much scenery around here. Which, I mean, I guess that's kind of the point, but some more foliage would have been nice. Which is kind of ironic if, you if you've been watching my Train Simulator 3 videos, where over in, over in some Train 3 routes, I've been asking for less foliage, but now here in Train of I'm asking for more foliage. Anyway, yeah, and no, I think it's gonna take us the next few minutes to get to the next station, so. Oh, well. Oh, there's a bridge there. That's two dimensional. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, here's this really short section. You know, I'm. Oh, we can go up to 70? Okay. Yeah, why is that short section like 105 kilometers per hour? No! Yeah, as if you're gonna accelerate and then decelerate that quickly. 205 kilometers per hour. I don't think there's any machine in the whole world that can do that. Oh, we didn't see the bridge. Yeah. Okay, on the brakes. Yeah. And here we are, arriving back where we started. Oh, there's a uh, speedy train in this yard now. Huh. Okay, I guess some bullet. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I was talking about the bullet train. I guess some bullet trains terminate the station, whereas others continue further the line. Interesting. And I come to complete stop for some reason. Oh, there's the, um... Is that the train that was in front of us earlier, or is that a different one? Train 2. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't take the service number of that train when we were in in uh, whatever that station was. Oh, well, according to the schedule, though, this will only be a brief stop. Actually, he's already pulling out of the station, so yeah, we're going to be able to go through. Actually, I think the signals group. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now you're a Rapid Express. Yeah, so we have Rapid Express and Commuter Express. Ah, so many different train names, man. I'm never gonna memorize them all. Like the only ones I know of are, are like local and express. And that's it. Anyway, um, come on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That was our best stop of the day. How many points for that? 74 points? What? Come on. Only 74 points for that? I thought that would be higher. Oh, we got 0 0.016 meters. That's like really good. Uh, I guess maybe it was a little bit too raw for something, which, fair enough, but come on, you give me more points than that. Really, I should be getting 100 points at every single stop because I'm the greatest train driver in the world. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Himi Mayashi. Hey, a station that we're all familiar with. Yeah. Himi Mima Mimo Mami Yeah. Actually, I think we're actually going to skip some stations. Yeah. I like skipping stations. Alrighty then, well here we are back on the part that we're a bit more familiar with, but it's still relatively new to the channel. I say relatively, I actually think it was last summer that we drove here. But yeah, here we are. I was like, we can really get some speed here. Oh, never mind. Okay, no one down 75, and then. And then we should be going to go up to 105. Okay. Okay, and here we are. Oh, I remember this station. Yeah, we've stopped here a couple of times. I hope I correct, I'm, I'm correct in saying that. There we go, 110. Although, is this the first time that we skipped this station? Probably not. Well, at least we can skip it today. But right, 110, yeah! Maximum speed. Well, not quite maximum speed, but close. There we go. Alright, well, we're gonna get to Hemi Maeshi in no time. Oh, curve coming up. And there's the speed limit reduction. And Hemi might actually coming right up. Oh, another four car train. Where's he going? Ah? Where's that guy going? That's a branch line that's not marked on the map. I guess that's like a, one of the um, scenery 
cheek uh, bracelets or something. Er, oh, that hit me my ass sheet. Yeah, station that you guys will be very familiar with if you're a long term viewer of the channel. Up oh, on the brakes. Uh oh. There we go. And oh. Okay, I'll admit that was not a very good stop. I just got on the brakes way too late there. Six points. Uh, really? Okay, I know that stuff wasn't great, but <laughs> yeah, mama. You know what? I think with enough stops, I might be able to score a thousand points in this scenario. Which is another bit of irony because, yeah, funny enough, in just the uh, last Train of ATS 3 video, we actually scored over a thousand points. Hmm. Could we do it for the second Train of ATS video in a row? Well, unfortunately, I completely messed that stop up, so uh, maybe not, but eh, we'll give it a try. And anyway, it shouldn't hand you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're gonna blast on this rear. Yes! All right, more speed is about to happen. Yes! All right. So hey, this is Rapid Express, and yeah, it's actually gonna live up to the name of being an express, and we're actually gonna get some stations. Nice. Okay, any second now, something's gonna go up. And come on. Come on. There we go. Full power. Yeah. Okay, I'm not actually sure if we have enough stops left in the scenario where it's gonna be able to get a thousand points, so Yeah, okay, it doesn't mean that we're gonna get a thousand points today. I mean, it is theoretically possible to get a thousand points in this scenario, of course, but you gotta get a bunch of good stops, which I am completely incapable of doing. <laughs> but at least I can, but at least I am capable of revving fast! Yeah! The speed! I got 110. Yeah! And 115. 117, 18, 19, and 120 kilometers per hour. Yeah! I should not try to pick the speed limit. Station! Yeah, station that we're not stopping at. Alright. All right, we are flying along the line now. Yeah. All right. So Shin Han Yu is next. I think I know what this station is. Gonna scratch my ear. Let's see how far we can get close to the speed limit. I'll see 120.90. There we go. And, oh, okay, I'm not gonna dare to go any faster. 120.97 kilometers. I think that's the fastest I've ever gone in any kind of ATS game ever. Unless I may have pushed the limits a bit further than the previous episode, but yeah. Oh, no, this is that we're not stopping yet. Yeah. See, now these are my favorite kind of services. Services with minimal stop, uh, minimal stops, and you get to just fly along the line at maximum line speed. Wow, well, fly along. Well, well, get up to maximum speed and stay there for a time. Actually, okay, let's, I'm gonna try to, okay, I'm gonna try to really get close there. Come on, can I get 120.99? Okay. 
All right, you know what? That's the fastest we're ever gonna go ever. I think. Oh well. Oh, station. Oh, huh, that's a lot more stations than I thought. Okay. Okay, like I said, it is theoretically possible to get a thousand points in this scenario, but it's actually more difficult than I thought because there's as many stops as I thought. Otherwise, that could be more stops between um, uh, this part of the line, but no, I guess not. But that's a good thing because that means I don't have to get on the brake so much. Uh. And well, there's our fun. About to come to an end, it's going to be 200 kilometers probably. We're still pretty fast, but I think it's going to go down some more. And actually, we're going to have to, we're, we're gonna have to stop at the station anyway. So, yeah. No, I was enjoying going fast. Well, time to ease it down. We're then Shinhan you. I know we've stopped at this station because I think we've stopped here multiple times at this point in this series. Okay, let's get a good stop this time. Like last time, which was horrible. There we go. Okay, a bit rough, but got, at least we got a good stop accuracy this time. 65 points. Oh, come on. Man, whatever. This, this... I guess this game has really high expectations. We're actually go by Wadabash again. Hooray. I wonder how many more stops we have. This is a Rapid Express, and I can't remember the last time we did a Rapid Express in this game. Hmm. Actually, I'm curious. So we're going to go straight to uh, the next stop of... What was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Kusum Wadabash. You're going to go straight there, or... Wait a minute. Isn't Kusum Wadabash the... Oh. Um. I just remember Akusa Motomachi, that's the most southern end of the line, isn't it? Hold up, is this the first time ever in the series they were driving the entirety of the section that these trains run? Or did we do that northbound at one point? Well, anyway, we have 11 kilometers the next stop, which is Moijonime. All right, welcome to 20 again. Yay, more speed fun. But yeah, for, oh yeah, that's the end of the line. For servers, I thought we were going to that big middle station, the one where the uh, Daishian branch is at. But no, it turns out that would actually we're actually going the entire line. Okay. Train. That reduction to 90. Alright, well, I guess Rapid Express means not as many stops. Eh, turn of ATS2 ad. Speaking of advertisements, I have actually already done a full series of turn of ATS2, so if you want to watch that right now, then. Well, go do it. What are you doing? Hey, here's the uh, Wadabashi Yard, which we actually uh, came from in just the previous episode, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, looks like we're actually driving... Yeah, we're about to drive the, this section of the road again, but, of course, this time... I'm not going to go on the Daishian branch, else we're going to skip the big middle station. But here we are, once again, Wadabashi! Yeah! The OG station. I 
Yeah, Meiju Nami. I don't remember that station name. Hmm. That's something we probably stopped in a previous episode that I forgot about. I don't remember that state. I or okay, I don't remember which station that is. Hmm. I'll probably recognize it by the way it looks, though. You know, that's a funny thing about Trin about the Train of ATS games in general. I don't really remember stations by their name. Okay, I'm rub I'm not that good at remembering. Well, okay, I am good at sta I, I am good at remembering uh, station names, but only in special cases. Like if it's a route that I really, really know well. But I can at least remember stations in these Trinity ATS games by the way they look. Like if I look at a st well, okay, and even then that depends on the station if it's like a really unique station. But again, if it's a really unique station, yeah, I can remember it by the way it looks. So, Mizunami, I don't remember which station it is, but I'll remember it when we get there. But yeah, I did not. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the schedule. And I read. I guess I read a Kusumu cool Machi, and for some reason. I guess I confused that with the uh, with the big middle station, the one where the Daishin branch is at. Um, but no, it turns out that in actuality, Kusumu Damage is actually the tail end of the south end of the line. So wow, we just drove the basically the entirety of this route except for the uh, the Bushiwara Onsen local thingamajig, as well as the uh, yeah Daishin branch will also be ignored today. But ah, we've driven another bunch of times by now. Uh, going up to 55. Yeah, now we're entering the more urban part of the line, so... Yay. Actually, what was the station called? The one with the Daishan that was... Oh, of course, the military train station, so I can't read the station name. Okay, maybe I do kind of suck at names. Another 75 direction? Come on. Alright, 5 kilometers to go to the next station. Train. I actually don't remember which training to put as the as thumbnail for this video. Um. Ah, here we're coming up on uh, New Kata. Which I only remember because we just came by here in just the last video. Uh. <clears throat> nah, you stupid speed limits. Why are you like that? And yeah, what's the station? Oh, it's Mus Musashi Arise. I just I gave the emergency brakes for a second by accident. Yeah, Musushi Arai. I don't know how I managed to confuse that with the. Uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Stopped by a bullet train of all things. Oh, that's not Hiroshima. Oh, Hiroshima, not Nero. Oh. Yeah, see what I mean? Wait, Nukata's open trip of ATS3, isn't it? I am such an idiot. <laughs> I'm never gonna remember these station names. I'm, I'm just... My brain is just not equipped to deal with that kind of stuff. But yeah, I guess that bullet train's being held up by a slow train. Because of course it is. This is non Hiroshima.
Anyway, here we are then, at... Wait, no, we're not gonna be stopping here either. Yeah. Well, the question now is, can we make it through here without having to come to a stop? Oh, that's a lot of traffic. No! Wait, hang on, that train just went through. Please tell me I get to go through. Oh, but one thing is, we're going to be chasing this bullet train for a bit. Okay, it says we're... Oh, come on. Well, here's the station where I... The, yeah, foot up, here's the station where I thought this scenario was going to end. For some reason. But, no, this video is just this entire route again. Okay. Seventy-five. Oh, come on. Yeah, Moses. I, I don't remember. Well, we're about to find out. That's really one and a half kilometers away. Yay! Hmm, this is gonna be a long video. Another long one. Oh! Okay, I didn't realize this was downhill, but okay. So then. Yep, yeah, there's that old train again. Yeah, so he's also being held up by a slow... Oh, is that a local train that's holding him up? Oh, man. Oh, man. I would hate to be the driver of that train right now. Although, I sort of kind of am still because I'm having to drive slowly. So I don't want a red light. Wait a minute. What station is this? Wait, this is, the, this is a side station. I thought we were going to be stopping like one of the big ones. What? Why does this train, an express, stop here? Oh, oh, maybe because of the uh, there's a line up there. Okay, fair enough. And still, this station's kind of been in the middle of nowhere, so it's like yamala, yamala. Where we are then? Up, slow down. Yeah. Okay, over a tiny bit that time, but eh, not the end of the world. That's going to be a score of... Game... You can go bang yourself. Oh, hello. You know, while I'm, while I'm here, let me just check real quick what is the uh, next train. Oh, it's the red one. Hmm. I did get a couple of red train sightings in this video. Although, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use one of them or if I'm going to have to do the scenario again off screen and then get a thumbnail. I don't know. But that's future me's problem. So then. Wait, wasn't there a lot more stops still in this section? Oh, no. Nope. Uh, next stop will be the last one. So yeah, I did not think that this scenario was going to be driving the entire route, but... I mean, today we base drove the complete route from... Uh, from... Yorimachi to... 
I could see when I'm actually. Of course, the station we didn't drive was the uh, Bushy Wash uh, Onsen Locals, but that's a separate thing, so. Yeah. Alrighty, well, I was just kind of going into this video, just kind of being like, oh, it's going to be another ep uh, episode, but the scenario turned out to be a bit more interesting than I thought. Only thing is, I guess now we're going to be going slowly. Yeah, because it's not going to take us eight minutes to three and a half kilometers, so... Oh, great. We're going to be, uh, held up at a, um, at a light, aren't we? Wait, is he leaving? Oh, seriously? He's gonna get to go before me. Well, I think I know why. It's rush hour. And we're in the most urban section of the route. And we're about to arrive at a big terminal station. So yeah, this is gonna be slow. Hooray! I thought we just go slowly all the way out, all the way there. Not much sense is going too fast since we're gonna be held up. A lot of red trains today. Which is hilarious since, you know, red train of the thumbnail. Yeah, I know I'm going pretty slow here, but there's really not much point in going any faster since, you know, my scheduled arrival time is quite far from now, and we're going to get it up again anyway. I just know what's going to happen. Blue train. Yeah, mama. Told you. <sighs> we are so close to the finishing line. But of course, it's rush hour. We're about to arrive at a big terminal station. So really, this is to be expected. <sighs> this is going to go a tiny bit faster. But still slowly. Oh, green? Um, okay. This one's going to be a bit faster. Yeah, that other speed is going to 75, but as if we're going to reach that speed anyway. The amount of traffic there is. Oh, what do you know? He's in front of me again. Actually, it's not going to be right in front of me because the red light just happens to be right before platform.
Let's turn yellow. What a strange episode this has been. Well, strange scenario, I guess I, I should say. I guess it's not strange. It's actually pretty typical, actually. It's not really... Yeah, actually, I take that back. It's not really anything that strange about it. It's just kind of just typical rush hourisms. Um, but it's just kind of well. It's just kind of where we started. Like we started out at a at the top station, right? They went up to the tippy top at at a, I've already forgotten the station names. And then we go all the way down to the most southern end of the whole map. And we still have a few more scenarios to go, plus the uh, cool train lights. There's actually a green train! Green train setting today. Oh, hang on. Wait, can I see him in before he disappears? Oh, you can just kind of see him. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, you know something? If I was driving a bit fast, I would have seen him. Oh, well. In my defense, I didn't expect there to be a uh, green train standing in this episode, but there you go. <clears throat> Alright, here we are then, almost there. I can assume there can be one more red light. Yep. Well, this won't wait here for too long. All right, guys, we have a couple minutes for this thing to turn green. Yep. Okay. So, um, nearly there. Guess we just gotta wait for this guy to leave and then we're clear to. Although, come on, our track is clear, isn't it? I actually can't see. Oh, track two. Alright. One more speedy train setting for good measure, even though it's stationary. Alright, pull onto this track. Oh, I guess that track is, uh, is already occupied. Okay, fair enough. Well, here we are then. The end of a pretty long journey. Let's get one more good start for good measure. And. There we go. So that was pretty good. What's the score then? 650 points is the final score. Alright then. That is another scenario completed. 54%. So hey, we got a halfway decent score. Yeah. Uh, another Rapid Express. So, well. Wait, no, we did a... No, whatever. And this now is... Okay. We are in... Is that seriously an hour and a half? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Hmm. I'm not sure whether to do that as a standard episode or a live stream now, huh? That's a very, very long scenario, which I did not expect. Hmm. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.